Hi and welcome to Tabletop Gaming, my name is Charlie and today we're going to take a look at a box of adventures created by Loki Battle Mats. Now these guys are usually the ones that offer us those beautiful books full of maps perfect for the RPG adventure where you can scribble your bits and pieces on, you can add stickers with people included, but although it sets you up perfectly for an RPG, what happens if we put everything we need into one box? That's exactly what they've done. So. With the UK opening up from lockdown a little bit more, hopefully we can start playing in person. This is potentially what you're gonna need. Here we begin with this one in the Valley of Peril. Now it's number one, obviously there are more coming, which is exciting in itself. There's also a free digital copy that's going to be included too. Now the back gives us details of everything that's involved, but quite nicely, it's set up as a book. So this is cardboard, not that you can tell, and this, is a magnetic close. Now if you've seen my videos before you know I'm a big fan of a magnetic close because it just keeps everything so nicely together. Now if we open her up you can see we've got an index of those maps and we've got quite a few things saying the adventure starts here. Now I'm keen to dive right in so let's do just that. So if we pull on that adventure starts haha -ha, we've got a nice thick set of different things. Now this is paper so that's not going to hold it together forever so we'll note that but let's begin with the first one so it is our selection of maps and on the other side we have the dungeon now of course because these have the grids on them you can start to lay them out in such a way that they link from one to another so i've done that very very clumsily but you can see that you can create new spaces and as a gm unfurl them as you go now, they're the nice type of shiny cards, so presumably you'll be able to draw on them with sort of a marker pen and then rub it off at the end. Um, also, you can move your characters around quite nicely. Oh, look, we've got nice diamonds and such in there. And rivers, streams, we've got a train track on the back there. All these sorts of things that can build a really rich story that you can use for pretty much anything. So although I immediately think of D&D, there is plenty here for the non-D&D player and the standard RPG player. Now... What else do we need to do? If we haven't got miniatures, then we need tokens. And delightfully, they've given us a lot. There's a great number of options here, as well as our larger creatures as well to be concerned about with the space that they take up. And we have three of those, but I'm gonna show you this one particularly because it's got the cool hydra on it as well. So there's plenty there to be excited about. And the dragon, aforementioned dragon. So we go through, on these sheets, you've got both your sort of style of character and what they look like but also lots and lots of creatures that you can use too um so whether that's a bat or a boar or a fly venus fly trapped by the look of things or the rats that are there there's wolves there's snakes there's all sorts so there's definitely a little bit of everything to be able to play your game with now nicely also the box itself made up to look like a book the bottom that you've got there is a perfect little dungeon to either put players into or even to use just as a dice tray because that will keep everything together. So we'll have a little look further at some of those maps. I might pop some across the screen so that you can keep an eye out. And with that index that we mentioned as well, there is a very, very faint marking on each of them to show which one that it is. So you'll see that this one is 1A, for example, which means you can keep them in a specific area or grab them as you need them. So this week I know I'm going to go to the dungeons. So I use the 2 setup, which is 2A, 2B, 2C and 2D, and they all fit together should I need them. Um, now, the only niggle I will perhaps have with this is that I've got to cut out the tokens because they're on quite a thick card, so a mistake is going to be noticeable. Um, but having said that, it means that if we don't have 100 tokens that we've got to sort through to try and find it, we'll have only cut out the ones that we need. So pluses and minuses to that. Now, of course, they've thought of everything. So we've got our little strap in here to be able to pull things out more easily and I know that sounds like a silly thing to highlight but when you haven't got it I promise you it's a nightmare um, and then there's plenty of things to take a look at with these two. Now you can get these directly from Loki Battle Maps. I will pop the link in the description below so that you can have a look um, and start your own adventure. Who are you going to get together? What are you going to be playing first when we can get out of lockdown? So that's it for Box of Adventures. Thanks so much for joining me. I hope you've enjoyed this quick video and a quick look at what you might find inside. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.